Right now, 25 lifelike dinosaurs are waiting for visitors to the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Dinosaur Island open to everyone over the weekend. Those big beasts will be there all summer. And the experience is attracting tons of families out to the zoo. Uh, really cool to see that stuff going on out there. Something new to take a look at at the Columbus Zoo. And we're there live right now with the zoo's Sean Brehop. And he joins us with more on how that first weekend went. Tell us, Sean. Hi, guys. How are you? This is probably one of the coolest things I've seen. You guys kind of get a view here in just a second of one of the largest dinosaurs that we have here um, in the Dino Island, that's our T-Rex there. About 42 feet long and about 35 feet high. That is pretty cool. There's roughly about 25 dinosaurs all through the area. And we like to describe this kind of as an adventure. So you start off after you come through um, and you get your ticket. It's kind of a boardwalk. You're gonna have to, to excuse my friend here too because he's pretty loud himself too. But you kind of go on a boardwalk adventure of some dinosaurs, and then you jump into our boat ride back here in our Australasia area, and you go around, and this is where you see the majority of the dinosaurs on the boat ride. Well, Sean, a lot of my old favorites when I was a kid, I remember looking at a lot of those things. Describing it and you standing next to each other like that, you look like maybe a snack. Yeah, a snack, yeah. And you know, the cool thing, these are all electronic dinosaurs. We like to say they have an electronic brain in there. So that all of them are mobile. Even some of them on the boat ride actually have a few surprises for you guys too, once you get on there. So though it is, you know, really hot out here, they might actually, you might actually enjoy it right on the boat. So Sean, tell us why this is an important exhibit for our zoo. What should visitors be getting from this? <laughs> well, you know, Love here's that. the thing that, that we like to tie in, you know, these guys, dinosaurs, you know, it's still to the day, we don't really know exactly why they completely disappeared Earth. And so it ties into extinction, which leads us to a lot of different areas to talk about here at the Columbus Zoo when it, when it dives into conservation. And, you know, overall, that's what the Columbus Zoo is all about, is teaching people um, about a lot of different animals and conserving. And I think this is just an exciting sort of entertaining area. It's part of a, an experience that we already had here, so it makes it even more fun to be on the boat ride, to see animals like our small clawed otters or the orangs that we have here. So it's just a cool experience, but it allows us to talk more into conservation. Oh, what, what is the nest, Sean? What is that that's next to you there? These guys over here, these are, these are baby T-Rexes, and that's mom right there. So oh. they're, they're chirping at me, and mom's probably upset that I'm actually next to the nest right now. <laughs> Don't touch the nest. I love it. But, but you know, it, it, even though they're kind of scary beasts, and, and I, I understand the whole thing about the zoo likes to protect animals and preserve mm -hmm. them, and you've got these ancient animals like that, it, uh, you know, it's not too scary for the kids? No, you know, this is this actually right here, the T-Rex, is probably the loudest sound that you're going to have from the, the sound system. But the rest of them, you know, it's, it's a fun adventure. I've been watching kids of all ages come around here. Um, you know, it is obviously for your, your older kids. So, I, I, you know, kids that are a little bit more understanding of what dinosaurs are. All thanks, right, Sean. Sean, thanks for joining us. The Young and the Restless is up next. Have a great day.